Welcome to part two. Under display, you go to the capture screen setting. Here you can find the countdown time. The countdown time for the first picture is usually a little bit longer, so guests get the time to get back to position after getting their props. The display duration is the time the photo preview is displayed to the guest. Two seconds is a good start. You can change the color of the countdown numbers if you like. Crop Live View will put a transparent border on the live view so you can see what part will be in the print. You can hide the cancel button so guests can't restart their session over and over. Live Template Preview is a new function that makes your guests see themselves in your template while looking at the countdown live view. The photo thumbnails are previews from the pictures. You can put these on all the sides of your screen. Here can you change the white screen flash you see before the picture is made. The software uses this time to let the camera focus. Change this to your liking. Under sharing screen, you can adjust the screen timeout function. This gives the guest time to choose the print or email buttons. When this time is up, the booth will switch to the start screen and is ready for a new session. You can also hide the done button so guests have to wait on the timeout function to restart a new session. Show original photos gives the guest the chance to find older sessions or other pictures of the event and reprint these. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.